Okay, once you get to the IXL uh, site, and you'll have to do that, you know, by going through the websites button, um, then I want you to click on a button here that says skill plans. And once you click on the skill plan, then you're going to see some buttons like this. This is NWEA Math Growth. This one is for math. NWEA Math Growth. This one is for reading. So today, I would like for you to go to the reading button and click on that. And then scroll down. And your RIT score was more than 160. This says less than 160. Yours was more than 160. So I'm going to have you scroll on down. Keep scrolling. Here, your, skip, your RIT score was between 160 and 176. So um, I would like for you to go ahead and start right here and click on that skill and just do as many as you would like. The more that you do in this area here, uh, phonics and word recognition, and then you know, here are some that I've already recommended and, and some of them you have probably already completed. Any of them that would have a little metal out here, you know, indicates that you've already completed that skill. So um, then, let's see, then there's some phenomena, uh, Phonological awareness, some skills in there, and then you see the RIT score of 177 to 188. So that would be beyond your level right now. Um, oh, and here was one on print concepts. So anything that you would want to work on between here, the print concepts, all the way up here uh, to where it says your RIT score of 160 to 176. That's where you fall. Any of these skills that you would want to, to work on and practice would be a way for you to grow and uh, so that when we take that um, NWEA test again, then uh, they, these would be good skills to help that score grow. So clicking here and it'll take you right to those skills. And when you get done with that one, you can come back and do any of these others that are in this RIT range of yours between 160 and 176.